Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 O H I O R V S. For sale today, we have a 2003 Pleasure Way Excel TD with 73,599 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2003 Pleasure Way Excel TD. As usual, we'll start in the front, work our way towards the rear, and come back to the front. I'm going to do our best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan and overall condition of this unit. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process as a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976. It's important to us that you have a great experience here. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions. We've got about 74 inches of headroom in this unit. Got your fantastic fan in the center that runs off the coach battery. We have the air conditioner in the rear here that has controls on the unit itself that will run off of the generator or the shore power plug-in only. Got your TV antenna here. You crank that up and down. You do not want to drive around with this TV antenna up. Got a mix of uh, hard surface and carpet flooring in here. We've got a table mount in the rear as well as up here in the front. Seats are in nice condition here. They both swivel, however, this driver's seat will not get a very good position because of the steering wheel and the cabinet here, but they both have the swivel mechanisms and the passenger seat will make a nice seat if you'd like to swivel that. Got a nice, easily accessible entryway, fire extinguisher, nice little grab handle here to help you get in. We have a light switch for the porch light and some of the ceiling lights. We have a window that opens here, does not have a screen. You've got your levels test here for the gray, black, fresh water, and coach battery. The uh, water pump switch to turn the water pump on and off. We have the start-stop switch for the Onan 2800 generator. That is 1,308 hours. That is a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan technicians. That runs off of the fuel tank that also runs the RV engine. So you'll just put fuel in the gas tank, and this will stop running around a quarter tank. The water heater on-off switch. So you turn that on here. It'll light itself. This light will come on let you know it's not lit, and then as soon as this light goes out, that means it is lit. We have a noxious gas detector. Got a little storage up here. Moving into the kitchen. Got a nice aluminum backsplash. Two burner propane cooktop. We have a window with a screen on the lower portion behind this uh, curtain here. Single basin sink. Put your water pump down there. We have a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. It's got the freezer up top, fridge portion below. This is a three-way, meaning it runs on AC, so shore power plug-in or generator. DC, meaning the coach battery or propane gas. It's all controlled via the controls on the faceplate here. There are some instructions in the bottom of the fridge itself to explain that. Got a 110 outlet. That's your propane furnace. Some of your electrical connections here. So what makes this a TD versus a TS is these two permanent twin sleepers here whereas the TS will have a power sofa in the back. So I'm gonna drop some pictures here momentarily and show you what this looks like made up and give you some measurements. Basically what you're gonna do is you can sleep how they are, or you could take the little nightstand down, put it on the floor, and then there's some boards beneath the bed here that you can use to fill in this gap. And then the cushions from the back will fill in to make up a big bed. Let's go ahead and drop those pictures so you can see what that looks like. 
The twin sleepers measure approximately 72 inches long and 29 inches wide on the driver's side and 70 inches long by 29 inches wide on the passenger side. This is a very popular sleeping setup in a camper van as it allows you to easily swing your legs out at night and go to the bathroom without crawling over one another. The base cushions in this unit have been recovered, however the backrest cushions appear to be original. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 70 to 72 inches front to back and 81 inches side to side. This unit is technically designed for two, but you could potentially sleep three people lying either direction in this bed if so desired. Down here below the couch in the rear, we have a noxious gas detector. A nice big drawer. Got a 110 outlet. We have your fuse panel. You can access the storage that is inside of the rear entry doors through this opening. Got two drawers on the nightstand. Got a water compartment here that's got the back of your water heater. Got another nice drawer here. And also a storage bin here by the restroom area. For storage in the rear, we have this area here. Got some of your books in that case there. Got your thermostat that controls the propane furnace there. Here we are sitting in the couch bed at the rear of the RV. The other day I went to McDonald's and ate a kid's meal. His mother was not very happy about it. We have windows that open on the left and the right back here with screens. We've got the curtains on them. So the screen is on the lower portion. Also got speakers in the back here on each side. Those are wired to the head unit up front. So whatever you're listening to up front, the passengers in the rear will also hear. We have a swivel mount TV here, so you can watch the TV from the front. Also got some storage behind that. Got a 12 volt power there, so that way you could watch the TV from the coach battery. So switch there to turn the TV on and off. I'm going to step into the bathroom area here on the driver's side of the coach. So you got a track here with the shower curtain. Got your towel bar, nice easily accessible way to get into this, not much of a step up. Three drawers, some storage here. Got your uh, bathroom sink, got a 110 outlet there. Medicine cabinet that does open. Also got a little towel hook right there on the left. Got a window that does open with a screen on the lower portion. We call that one the stink vent. We have a microwave oven. So this microwave runs on shore power plug-in or generator only. Got a nice big wardrobe closet. We got two tables. Can hang things in this closet. We have the table mount in the front and the rear. So the one here and then the one back in the back. We have a privacy curtain that goes all the way around here to provide privacy while you're parked. Got your chassis manual there. Really nice clean specimen here. One of the only spots I can see is there's a little bit of puckering on the wallpaper right there where it's kind of gotten cracked. Overall though, a really, really nice unit here for a 2003. Can't find too many flaws with this one. It's gone through a full inspection process, ready to hit the highway and have some fun this summer. I'm gonna call this one a nine out of 10. If you wanted to compare it to other 2003s, you might even rate it a little higher. But overall, calling this a nine, a nine out of 10, very, very nice unit. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD and cassette player. Got nice clean upholstery on the seats here. Don't see any signs of smoking. These cigarette lighters also unused. Tough to say for sure, but I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Got nice little glove compartment stash boxes there. Alrighty, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2003 Pleasure Way Excel TD. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. It has four brand new tires. 
This RV is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 5.4 liter V8 engine. A little scratch there on the hood. It has 73,599 miles. Got good looking shine on this unit. The decals show slight age, but it is 2003. I would say it's very, very nice for a 2003 on the exterior. We've got the coach battery, back of the fridge, furnace exhaust, two outlets in case you'd like to plug things in beneath the awning. Got actual alloy rims, storage bay. Got a tow package with a spare tire underneath. You can access this rear storage through the door here. Got your awning center rafter. Some tire kit tools. Coming around to the driver's side. Got a storage compartment down here. We've got a electrical hookup here to convert the shore power cord to the style that you can plug in at your house. Got a toilet cleaner in there. Sewer hose storage, back of the water heater. This is the fill for the onboard fresh water tank. Take a closer look at some of the decals. Got little boo-boos here. Outside shower, we have the sewer drain. The black uh, valve is here, the gray's here, so dump the black first, then the gray. Got the shore power cord inlet here. We've got your city water right there, and we've got cable TV here. We have your propane tank with a gauge, valve to turn that on and off. It's filled through here. We have a Onan 2800 generator. Got the exhaust right there. Has a fresh service, fresh oil change. Really nice looking specimen here.